Hello, Bobber Love. Hi. What are we going to talk about? Oh, the weather. It's windy. World affairs. Hopefully, people, folks be able to hear you because it's pretty windy. Windy. <laughs> well, new song, um, Death to the Radio. Although it's not super new because we kind of dropped the ball on getting the behind the tunes interview out. We've but been having too much fun. Just kicking way too much butt. So um, it's kind of nice to get back. So it'll be a short and sweet one. Like me. Short <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> Can we do a cheers? Yeah. Will you open mine? Because I'm one handed with the camera here. Just talk about it. It's amazing. Oh. We went to Ash and Elm in Indianapolis last night, and that is the um, black raspberry lime cider. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It's really good. And I have the 90 minute uh, dogfish head. That's what right. everybody should probably drink. Cheers. Uh, so good. All right, let's talk. Ask me a question. Any question. <clears throat> well, that's the radio. Go back to when it was created, because there has been a little bit of a lapse. Why you created it? What? How it went down? Um, death to the radio. It's just a really short little rock song, and um, I just had like the little. Just uh, singing over it, making nonsense words, and I just kept saying, Death to the radio. <laughs> and I, it's like a lot of my lyrics just kind of come out of nowhere. So it was like, Death to the radio. And I was just like, Okay, there it is, right there. So I just kind of went with that, and then I was like, Why would I say that? And it reminded me of this story. I have this friend, his name is Mike Siski. The Toe, which he endearingly goes by, The Toe. And I would stay with him and we'd stay up late nights and play darts and just act, act foolish and have fun. And sometimes I would sleep on his couch and then he had this habit of waking up before the sun would come up. And every, I mean, he still does it to this day. And he has this fascination with the radio so he would wake up 4 35 in the morning and he would just turn on the radio and about every 10 15 minutes it would get louder and louder and I would lay on the couch and then finally just it was so loud you just get up because it was unbearable and so there's so many times I just like wanted to kill his radio so I was like boom that's the whole story <laughs> death to the radio it's about just waking up at the toes and him playing the radio way too loud and just, you just wanted to destroy it but eventually you just wake up start playing darts or just go home <laughs> which I did most of the time and so that's kind of how it went and um, the, yeah the song was just kind of like uh, early start down slow still dark out what time don't know Oven's heating up to warm his bones, old man, young Collis Jones, death to the radio, refuse to turn it down, you know, death to the radio, rock will be the fatal blow. <laughs> so that was basically it, and I just kind of riff off of that for a couple minutes, and that's the end of the song, but ended up being real fun and super fun to play. Um, and it was real nostalgic to write. It was just a lot of, a lot of fun. So it's just a silly little uh, rock pop song. Nostalgic, why? Oh, it was just a really fun time. Um, I was young and didn't really have much responsibilities and just stay up too late playing darts and just talking about the most silly things. And it was it was fun. We had lots of laughs and um, it was just a 
it's just a good memory for me. <laughs> and so then we were um, talking to the kids, which is basically my art crew, and <laughs> they were asking about it, and I was just kind of giving them the overview of it. And I was like, you know what would be cool for the in or for the video? Excuse me. Is if you, if I describe the scene, like of his apartment, and like the dartboard, and just me sleeping on the couch or whatever, and then <laughs> dad being super lazy, and then you, he didn't you draw exist it. Yet. <laughs> and so they were like, okay, we'll do it. So both of my kids participated in drawing the um, the cartoons that you see in the video. Is basically how it really looked and they nailed it I mean it really <laughs> it really looked like the toes apartment they love details and so um, yeah so we just kind of filmed their artwork um, with the song playing in the background and that's that's the whole video it's like I said it's really short um, sweet but the video is colorful and it's all you know our art my music and their drawings so have you shown it to Mikey yet? Yeah, I sent it to him and uh, the toe approved. <laughs> and um, yeah, that, that's really it. It's like I said, it was short and sweet. It came, um, it's always interesting like where, how fast it develops, but it was all written in a day and it was recorded and done and mixed and everything less than a week it was just one of those that just just came out of nowhere wrote itself and was over so those are always a, a pleasure that you don't agonize over them and um, just keep hashing them out it was like it was done right out of the gate so it was really fun so I hope it it lives up and like I said it's really fun to play live so I'm looking forward to playing it on stage getting loud and silly awesome well it looks like the next interview we do, hopefully that big tree will be blooming behind you. I know you've got already another song pumped out, but you're still working on some details. We'll be doing another one pretty soon. Yeah, um, <clears throat> keep your eyes and ears open. It's a love song. Who's it for? It's for my wife. <laughs> I heard she's pretty classy. Have you ever met her? I have. I was pretty impressed. <laughs> she's impressive. Yeah. She's yeah. very impressive. <laughs> and it was really fun. It, um, not to get into it, but it's just a it's just a classic love song that came out kind of folky, which is kind of a, uh, a different style for me. So um, that official music video will be out really soon, and then we'll do another interview and talk more deeply, like behind the tunes of that. And I look forward to that because that's a a really personal song. So that'll be a lot of fun to chat about. Awesome. Well, uh, Barbara Love, tell us one thing we wouldn't know about you. Um, well, you see this hat? Yes. This hat is like 30 years old, <laughs> and it says Midlands on it. Well, Midlands is this national wrestling tournament for college, uh, college wrestling tournaments in Chicago, and it's one of the most prestigious tournaments in the United States and when I was a freshman at Purdue I wrestled in it and got my butt whipped. <laughs> but you got a hat out of it. <laughs> but I got a hat. I still wear it. And so um, yeah I, I wrestled in college uh, for like a year and a half and took massive beatings and, and now you're a musician. <laughs> yeah but I didn't break any of my fingers so I can still play guitar and uh, Maybe that's not something somebody would know. <laughs> Go Boilers. Go Boilers. All right, Barbara Love, it's been lovely once again, and we look forward to the next interview soon. Get that video done. We're excited. To yes. See it. Peace. Right. Thank you.